What's going on everybody? So today we're here looking at the Jurassic World Primal Attack Majungasaurus. So this dino is completely weird, wacky, but I like it. So before we get into it real quick, let's go ahead as always for time's sake. Got them out of the box. That's, that's what you get in front of the box. Again, they're all the same. All that changes is just the wording and the art. But overall, that's pretty much it. I got mine at Walmart.com. So in case you're looking for it. Hopefully you can find it. There's the barcode. It's always looking out for everybody. Hopefully you can find it. So that's that. And let's get into this beauty. So like I said, it is weird. It is a very funky looking dino. But for some reason, I like it. I don't know why. It's just really funky looking. And with the little stubby arms, just like a Carnotaurus. Um... I mean, it, it's really funky looking. The colors are weird, but I like that. It kind of reminds me of the Chaos Effect, the ones from back in the days with the Kenner, um, the Jurassic Park ones. So this dino, for some reason, is very hard to find. Everybody's after it, or if not, it's very expensive on eBay. So do not buy from the scalpers. Just wait, keep looking for it, and you'll find it. Because I was going to pay a ridiculous price, and I'm glad I didn't. And I actually went on Walmart.com and it just appeared. So just keep looking and be patient. So there you go. And like the other sound strikes, you just hit the tail. And it's really nice because, again, like the other one, you can close. You can... You can close the mouth and you can open it when you want, opposed to the ones that we had before from uh, Dino Rivals where some of their mouths are open and they look kind of funky looking. And that's pretty much it with this. So there you have it. It has those spikes, quills, whatever you want to call it that are hanging from it. The same with the tail and the back legs. So. Not sure if that dino is supposed to look like that. Again, none of us were around 65 million years ago, so none of us can be accurate and say, yes, that's what it was. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that. But there we have it. You see, it's weird, the colors. But for some odd reason, they're nice. If somebody said not long ago, on a post I saw, <laughs> it's like the Brazilian colors from their flag, so, but this is very nice. That's in the mouth, they really got lazy, there's no, no detail, as in paint-wise, the mouth is just solid green, and the tongue, that's just a little bit of pink, so, it's alright, at least we got that, so, not bad at all, and, yeah. You have the speakers, you have the paint. There's some spots that the paint looks a little bit like it's like chipping. There you have that speaker. It's the bottom in case you need to scan it. Hopefully it picks up. If it doesn't, my apologies. You have the little Jurassic World logo. Make sure it's authentic. And that's that with this dino so size comparison it's a little bit smaller than the irritator and not sure if it's supposed to be a juvenile but the majungasaurus there we have it very nice to add to your collection so in case you're looking for it again do not pay high price with the scalpers because they're starting to appear more on walmart.com and hopefully you'll find them in the store. I couldn't find them in the store. I actually bought it online. So I waited like a few days and finally got it in the mail. So here we are looking at it. And the color, it's very nice. It's a very nice dino to have. So Well worth the 15 bucks plus tax and shipping and all that stuff. You're looking at about like 22 and some change. So can't beat that. 
I know some people online have been jacking up the price for double or triple. Do not pay that. It's not worth it, trust me. But just be patient. Keep looking around. But this is what we have, and I hope you guys liked it. Hit that like, subscribe, all that good stuff. So keep posted until the next video. And as always, till next time.